Yeah. Well, I, first off, I just want to thank our athletic department. You know, they, they put this together. They wanted to do something. I mean, they obviously asked for permission to ask to let the, the fans come in because it was ultimately, did we want to do that? But it was, it was like a no-brainer. Um, again, the excitement that our team feels, uh, the enthusiasm within this community. Uh, there have been some diehards that have been fans in lean years. And so if we can open this up and, and maybe get some new fans along the way, that's exactly what we want to do. I just want to make this the neatest experience ever for our players. We just found out Florida Gulf Coast's team will be taken on in the first round of the tournament. What are your thoughts on that? Yeah, they're really good, and they just got beat. They got upset in their conference tournament. They are just unbelievably good. Carl does a tremendous job at, at Florida Gulf Coast. Uh, they have a lot of transfers in every year. He meshes them together. He's one of the best coaches in the country, so it's going to be a really tough matchup. And are you preparing anything specific going into the tournament? No, we're going to just live this and, and enjoy it. And, again, I've been so impressed with our team and how they can handle success and attention and compliments and yet still walk on the floor and get better and concentrate on, on practice. So I'm going to rely on that and count on that and believe that they're going to be really serious and and nobody's satisfied right now. We want to win. We want to win some games in the NCAA tournament. Appreciate it. It does. It does. You know, just playing so well in the Pac-12 the entire year. Uh, you know, we could chalk up a lot of things that this team hadn't done before. Winning at, on, at Arizona's, uh, winning those Oregon teams at, on the road. Um, you know, we lost some at home, but we really had the Colorado game won. And, um, you know, so, and then playing great at USC and UCLA and split there. So it's just, a, it wasn't a, oh, we got hot at the right time. We've been pretty good all year. Uh, we didn't have our star player for four of those losses. So we have some, what do we have, 10 losses or 11 losses, I don't know which. So that's significant. And I think the committee probably recognized that we were without our star player for four of those, and uh, I think I think we earned a five, and that's because we we took care of business and and were really solid in, in the entire year during our league. Well, I mean, the, it's it's not an easy place. I'm not an easy coach to play for. I mean, we really do have high standards. Uh, we have high expectations. We want to go get players who tell us they want to be great. And, uh, and we want to hold them to it. So we put together a plan and we say, this is what a championship team looks like. This is what they train like. This is what they sound like. This is how you behave on and off the court. This is how you act in class, classes. You've got to be serious about your grades. And we've just got, we've got great players who are bought in to the process of getting better. Um, we want to do two things for our players when they come here. We want to make them into the very best basketball players they can be and we think we can make them into the very best teammates they can be. And that requires a lot of giving and being outside yourself. And uh, those are the things that I'm really proud about with this, with this uh, program and what we've built in this culture. How much is the experience that this team has from, from last year, the last couple of years tournaments? I mean, even this year's Pac-12, how much is that going to help you guys going into this one? Well, I hope a lot. You know, I think our team, we've talked about it with our team. I mean, this we still kind of are carrying a I don't know, a bag of rocks saying you've never won an NCAA game. And so our team is, is going to hear that. And, you know, we talked a lot about it. Yeah, but we haven't, but we're not the same team. We, we played on the road this year better than anything close to what we were the last two years. We're a completely different team. We're better built. We're deeper. Um, we have the experience factor. We have uh, players that have been in a lot of close games and managed and and, and, and found ways to win. Uh, this is a team that's really built uh, tough and, and we're a better defensive team and we're a tougher team and we're a better rebounding team and those things travel and that's what we got to count on when we get to the NCAA tournament and, and hopefully we can get that 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 thing off that elephant off our back. Hey, I'm, I'm curious about what you talked about in, in past years you felt like you were a little out of gas 
at this point. Uh, can you just talk a little bit more about well, why you feel like this team has more left in the tank and, and how much can you see it in just kind of the daily routine and what they go through that they still got that momentum and are kind of ready to go here? I mean, if you looked at our past um, rosters and how many minutes, you know, our starting five played, we, we pretty much had them on the court well over 30 minutes a game. And, and the long the long season, I think, just made us, um, you know, we were, and we were spotty. We'd win a game, we'd lose a game. It was, we didn't build a lot of momentum. And this year's different. I mean, I think the fact that Charlize was gone 20 days, probably, has made her fresher. Um, we've been better at practice and not over overdoing it at practice. Play more people, uh, can spell people on and off the court. It's just, again, it's a different feel. Um, in practice every single day. We've got practice guys that practice, uh, so we don't have to overwork our players. So just really feel like we're on the upswing and that we don't have to worry about momentum. We've got a lot of momentum going forward. Uh, what is your routine this week? Or what, do you know when do you take off? How do you kind of handle practice these next four days or so? Well, the hard ones have been the ones we just went through. It's just us, we just worked on us. But now we'll have uh, a scout on Florida Gulf Coast tomorrow. Uh, we'll go tomorrow and Tuesday, probably take Wednesday off. And I'm assuming travel on Thursday and uh, just, you know, play it out. I'd love to, since we have to go so far, I'd love to get there on Thursday knowing we play on Saturday. But we got a, a lot of logistics that someone's going to do. And, uh, but obviously we're just thrilled to be playing um, and have a lot of respect for Florida Gulf Coast. We're going to have to do a great job at, in scouting them. Okay, it's good with Coach. Hey, Go Coach. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.